Ruchika from Clevertap and today I have with me Meera Iyer from Medlife. Meera, can I please request you to introduce yourself further to our audience? Sure. Uh, hi, I'm Meera. I am the Chief Marketing Officer of Medlife as Ruchika already introduced me. Um, but prior to this, I was heading marketing for Big Basket for about three years and uh, I started my career before that at Hindustan Divas where I was uh, across different roles in sales and marketing, last being the global brand manager on fairs and uh, regional one on Duff for skincare. So yes, so Hindustan Divas, traditional FMCG company, on to the world of both startup and online e-commerce to Big Basket and now here at Medlife. That has been a long journey, I believe. Can you share with us how exactly did the journey start for you? Well, uh, it started like it does for a whole bunch of management trainees where uh, it started by doing our MBA. So, I am a 2004 pass out from Jamalal Bajaj um, Institute of Management Studies in Bombay and uh, got picked up from campus directly, um, absolute fresher, no prior work experience, so graduation, post-graduation and then on from campus placements on to leave us. Okay. Uh, besides that, would you want to share some other highlights or some learnings from your journey that you think might be helpful for others? I think uh, my learnings I would possibly categorize under two different buckets. One is about uh, professional success and really in marketing if there is a mantra it is really about customer centricity. Um, your best marketing actions, thoughts as well as campaigns come out of a deep, deep learning and understanding of your customers and empathy to, uh, towards them. It uh, also comes out of the insights that you're able to come up with which your product can then beautifully weave into and solve. So uh, my professional success mantras have always been that start with the customer, you'll never go wrong. Uh, and if you invest good time in understanding your customers um, and come up with the right kind of product and solution, it, it kind of automatically just, you know, the stars and the planets align to give you the professional success that you want. Um, personally, I think uh, it, it's been wonderful and uh, you, you obviously start off as a junior and then as you progress and now as a CMO, and somebody who's part of the uh, overall leadership team. If at all I have learned anything, it's about basically giving your team a fair bit of your time and input to help groom them, making very clear as to what is the expectation out of them and then helping them. Helping them achieve it rather than just dumping it. Uh, you, as, as a leader, I can't uh, stress enough about the need for you to engage and be part of the team rather than just you know, laying out the task before people and expecting them to do it and not showing any empathy whatsoever when things aren't happening. So my mantra as a leader has always been to basically, you know, pretty much roll up your sleeves and get into it with your team uh, rather than maintaining a distance and just uh, passing on a set of instructions to be done. So co-creating is always better as compared to doing it all, all by yourself or expecting everybody else to basically do what you want them to do. Um, that comes out to give you a much better output. So then, uh, if I'm not wrong, team and customers, yeah. these are the two most important things. Absolutely. So, um, beside team and customer, mm -hmm. uh, do you think there are some other things that have helped you reach where you are today? Um, I would say that I have a natural uh, tendency to look at data and data is something that and not just uh, comfortable with but is also something that I really love working with or an inclination towards data is something that's helped me a lot along the way because that's where uh, as, as much as customer insights are important data insights and especially on this side of the world where it is e-commerce and where you are able to record every movement in that entire customer journey becomes really important for you to decide how to impact uh, better business outcomes for you from every customer that you manage to attract. Um, so data would definitely be amongst those top few things that has uh, helped me a lot along the way. Um, in addition to that, I think uh, generally loving the work that you do, right? Uh, I, and I sincerely believe in this that uh, whatever you do, you, you should really enjoy it. You should thoroughly be immersed in it and feel that, yeah, you're doing a great job and you're making a difference to both the uh, organization as well as to people that you're serving. And that goes a long way uh, in impacting the outcomes of whatever you do and whatever you lead. So yeah, those two. Very insightful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, has it ever happened to you that you came up with a business plan and it did not work out the way it was supposed to do? It has. Of so how, how did of you? Of course, 
how did you tackle I that think, situation you know, a 15 year uh, career path without yeah. wrong decisions i think is virtually impossible uh, and i i have obviously made mistakes i have made mistakes in terms of my um in, in, in terms of my first media plan for example uh, where i got it horribly wrong uh, the very first time and uh, thankfully you had seniors to correct it uh, saying ki ya yeah, bachcha uh, yeah we get it uh, your enthu and all is great but this ain't going to work let's let's do this so you learn a lot along the way um, and uh, you know obviously in leavers kind of a setup where you had a ton of seniors and a huge line of people with a much much uh, richer and greater experience than you it it was uh, it was hard to make mistakes because even if you were making one there was somebody else to look out for you and stop it from happening and uh, and that was a beauty in terms of learning your mistake and yet not committing it as such but uh, but yeah i think even even in my stint at possibly big basket and over here i definitely made so for example one stupid mistake that i made uh, and this was at the time of demonetization where uh, demand completely shot up given that people were short on cash and uh, you know the best way to actually buy groceries which you can't really wait and you need it and they are not able to pay cash to vendors who are sitting outside was to basically order it online um is to completely stop uh, spending any kind of money Uh, because demand was anyways coming uh, mm-hmm. on marketing but then you uh, that was a learning for me digitally for example that on digital marketing completely you know shutting the engine doesn't work you need to still keep the engine at a bare minimum you know kind of running level for it to then scale up because then when i tried to restart it it was tough um and therefore uh, one, one one key learning that came out of there is on digital channels unlike tv where you can shut it and start it again it doesn't work it, it doesn't quite work like that uh, you need to always have the key in the ignition and it needs to be running at a bare minimum kind of a, a pace uh, you you can never shut it off so yeah uh, i have had my own fair share of mistakes and i have been lucky to have a fair share of bosses who've been uh, you know accommodative and uh, allowed me to learn from them <laughs> i think i'm speechless already <laughs> you're sharing so much knowledge so i'm not going to take uh, a lot of time yeah. so i'm going to end this by asking you if you have any tips or thoughts that you would want to share for next generation marketing leaders or maybe your fellow marketing leaders again i go back to those basics i don't uh, you know you know there is there is too much of jazz out there there is there is digital there is you know ai there is machine learning and what not but at the end of the day you are you as a marketeer are marketing to real people so please get real on that side uh, as much as you will go virtual and whatever on the other side get real get to know your customers have a deep empathy for them and then look at how is your product or service really fitting their needs and serving them uh, build your entire strategy and communications around it and that would be the best recipe for success so um i will always you know put that down first saying customer first if 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 you are driven by what is it that is going to make my customer life better what is it that can make it even nicer for them how can i help them if that is a thought that drives you and if that is a thought that is driving all your agendas as a marketer you'll never go wrong amazing <laughs> totally amazing thank you so much for sharing these insights with us and for contributing to this initiative thank you, thank you.